Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are going to be looking at how we can set up a router to become a full-blown firewall. We're going to look at setting up a zone-based policy firewall on an actual Cisco router itself. So as you can see by the topology diagram, we've already gone ahead and I've programmed up the cloud PC, the cloud switch, the inside PC, the inside switch, the DMZ PC, and all of, the, all of the routers and switches in between to build up our infrastructure. Because the only thing we're going to focus on today is actually programming up the router to be a firewall. So let's have a look at some basic testing first. So we've got our cloud PC. Let's make sure we can ping inside to the inside switch. And that seems to be successful. Let's make sure we can ping inside to the inside PC. That seems successful. And let's also make sure we can ping into the DMZ PC. And that seems successful, so that's good. Now we're gonna flick over to the inside PC and we can make sure that we can get out to the cloud switch. We can get to the cloud switch just fine. And let's make sure we can get to the cloud PC seem to be able to get to the cloud PC just as well and we'll make sure we can also get to the DMZ PC and that all looks really good and let's do exactly the same on the DMZ PC just to make sure we can get to everything because I want to verify full connectivity before we start so that you can see what is actually going to happen and then the inside and lastly, the PC itself. Now, so one thing else we're gonna do with our firewall is we're also gonna verify connectivity for applications, not just ping. So for example, I, I did, we didn't wanna do SSH because it's just it's an extra um, hiccup. I just wanna show you that we can actually get, we can actually tell it to the cloud switch. So there we are, now we're on the cloud switch. And I also want to show you that from the outside, we can actually get in to the inside switch as well. So there we are now doing actual TCP connectivity. So I've tested ICMP and I've tested TCP. And there we are, now we're on the inside switch as well. So let us look at the router as a firewall to begin with. Now, the first thing, so I've gone through and I've set up all the IP addresses and all the routing and everything set up. The only thing we're going to be doing is setting up the actual firewall itself. So the first thing we have to do is actually identify the zones. So we use the command zone security and we're going to set up inside. Then we're going to set up outside and then we're going to set up the DMZ. So now I've actually set up the three security zones. Oops, turn off caps lock, sorry about this. Now, the thing is, what the reason, the way the zones are working is what we call zone pairs. So there's a pair from inside to outside, there's a pair from DMZ to outside, and if we wanted to, we could have a pair from outside to inside and outside to DMZ. But we're just testing it today from a concept of being able to get out. Get, being able to get out from the inside, but not being able to get back in. So now we're gonna actually set up what we call a class map. And this will actually set us up for our, to declare the types of things that we're gonna do. So we're gonna do class map inspect, match any, because anything inside this, and then we're gonna inside protocols. Because this is the actual, we're declaring what type of traffic we care about. So we are gonna look at, whoops, sorry, right, caps up again. I'm trying to make all my words in, in caps so that we can um, we can come back. So we want to match protocol. We want to match all TCP traffic. We want to match all UDP traffic. And we want to match all ICMP traffic because we want those pings to work. So we want to be able to make sure our telnet works, our web browser works, and our pings work as part of our testing. Now we're going to set up, just press the up arrow a couple of times, save my typings. Now we're going to set up DMZ protocols. 
protocol. Now, the thing we're going to do differently now with the DMZ protocols is we're only going to do basic HTTP. Oops, sorry, caps again. We're going to do HTTP, HTTPS, and just let's just do DNS just for fun. I don't actually have a DNS server running, but we're going to type in it anyway just for fun. So now we set up two class maps of protocols. So the inside one is everything, all TCP, all UDP, all ICMP. Whereas the DMZ one, we're only allowing HTTP, HTTPS and DNS. So you'll see later on, the DMZ guy, he won't be able to tell that, he won't be able to ping, but he will be able to web because we're restricting the traffic he's allowed to get out on. So now we have to set up the actual policies themselves. So we set up a policy map. And once again, it's an inspection because we're doing firewall, um, firewall, firewall types of traffic, excuse me. And we want to go in to out and it's going to be a policy map. I just, I like, sometimes you've got so many different labels floating around. I like to actually set up, like call policy map, policy map, just so I can keep track of it. Sorry, caps lock again. And we are going to now pull in those protocols. So into out is our inside proto protocols. Oops, that didn't feel right. So now we declared our protocols, and now we're binding them up in a policy map. Okay, I've done a typo here. Sorry about that. Hang on, because it did something weird. So policy map. We want, oh, class of silly mate, class type inspect. In, inspect. There we are. I could tell it was wrong because the prompt didn't change because it's a nested command. So now we're actually telling it that we want to inspect. So we've set it up. So we've said, we've declared the policies, sorry, the protocols, and now boiled it up into a policy map. And we're going to make another policy map for the DMZ guys. So now we're going to set up the DMZ. DMZ to out policy map. Oops. Might as well make it caps. I'm doing everything else caps. To out dash policy map. And then inside here, we're going to do the same thing. But this time, instead of the outside protocols, we're going to have the DMZ protocols because that's what we're, that's what we care about, right? It's, so now this policy map says match, or inspect, sorry, inspect, just HTTP, HTTPS and DMZ. So now we have set up our policies, we have just to get out. So there's no rules to get in. So technically speaking, this firewall is gonna block all internal traffic. And nothing will be able to get in, only stuff will be able to go out and come back, but nothing will be able to originate from the outside. So last but not least, oh, sorry, it's not last, but it's, it's nearly last. Now we have to bind them up into pairs because we're going to, we've got our protocols, but it's now the direction of flow. So we've got our protocols and our policy, but now we're going to institute that policy in a certain direction. So we set up a zone pair, which you will be pairing for security. And let's call it into out again, into out. But this time it's our zone policy. So it's called into our zone policy. The source of our traffic is going to be the inside. Now remember, this is not an interface, this is a, a zone. Because you can have multiple interfaces in a single zone. So the source will be inside and the destination will be outside. So that's it. We've set up a zone pair for that one. And we're going to do another zone pair exactly the same, but this time it's going to, we're going to call it DMZ, a DMZ to outside zone pair, and this time the source will be our DMZ. So that's it. All right, so let us have a look at what is actually happening. So we go to show zone pair. And we want the security. So let's just have a look at what we've configured. So we have a zone pair called DMZ to out zone pair. The source is the DMZ, the destination is outside. We haven't set up a service policy yet, but we'll set up at least the zone pairings. 
So the thing we need to now focus on is the actual policies themselves. So let's go back into configure terminal and we want to actually link everything together. So we want our zone pair security uh, DMZ to out uh, zone pair. Pretty sure that's what we got. Oh, dash zone pair. Sorry, got to make sure the um, got to make sure the the syntax match. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. We, whoops, turn off caps lock again. Service, oh, no, wrong button. Service policy type. We want to inspect, and now this is where we bring in that policy that we made before. So the policy name we used was into. Oops, sorry, no DMZ. DMZ to out dash zone policy. So we've got the no, sorry, not zone policy. Well, let me just scroll up. I want to type again. Policy is that not called zone policy? Policy is called policy. PM policy. So now we've brought in. So we've classified the protocols. We've bound them up into a policy map, and now we're bringing that policy map into the zone pair. So to use use these protocols in this direction on this zone pair. So let's do exactly the same for inside to outside as well. So that was for, oops, too far. So this is our service policy for our DMZ. So we want in to out. Oops, got to, got to watch that case. No, I made a mistake here. Where am I up to? Oh, sorry, zone pair. I'm silly, I've gone all the way out. The zone pair is in to out. This is where our service policy is type into our because we're bringing in the policy into the zone so now let's have a look at that again so show uh, zone pair uh, security all right here we go so now we've got our zone pair zone pair has got our source dmz the destination outside and the policy we're using is the DMZ to outside policy. What is that policy doing? That policy is brought in the class of those three protocols, HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS. Same with our inside to outside. Our source is inside, destination is outside, so that's the pairing. And what policy are we putting against that? The policy we made that looks at all TCP traffic, all UDP traffic, and all ICMP traffic. So the very last step we need to do is now put these onto the individual interfaces. So let us go into the interface. Now we've got interface, gigabit, oops, sorry, GI, 0, so 0, so 0, this is our DMZ interface. So we're gonna say zone member security, and this is gonna be DMZ, because this is a name. This is the name we set up. So we could call it Frank, we could call it anything we want, but just to make sure it makes sense in our own brain, it's gonna be DMZ. Now gigabit one is the inside. So we're gonna make that inside. And then the last interface is the outside. And that's serial zero slash one slash one. And that is going to be our outside interface. So we have declared now, we've declared the protocols we wanna use within a class map. We brought, brought that class map into a policy. Then we set up a zone pairs and we're told to inspect that policy that contains those protocols. All right, so let's test it. So let's let's do the show command. Let's make sure that's good to go. All right, that is good to go. And another good command we've got is show policy map. Show, whoops, show policy map for our inspections for our zone pair. So show policy map, the zone pair. Now, there's a lot to take in here, but the most important thing we need to note is that there's our zone pair, there's a good zone pair, there's our policy map, and they're the protocols that we care about. Currently nothing's been tested against because we haven't used it. And then the second one is inside to outside, and we want to match, so the inside to outside zone pair, we want to match those policy and that policy has these protocols. 
So let's test it. So first of all, we'll go to our inside. Now our inside person, they used to be able to do everything. So let's make sure they can still do everything. Okay, they can still ping the, the, cloud, the cloud switch and they can still ping the cloud PC. Let us check what PC, the cloud PC can do now. So he used to be able to ping the, oh no, the firewall is now blocking because it's allowing the traffic to go out based on that zone pair policy, but it's not allowing it to come back in. But our guy from the inside, he can ping, he can ping everything. Let's see if we can actually still tell it to the cloud. He used to be able to, just fine. Yes, he can. He can tell that to the cloud and that's fine. What about the outs, the cloud PC? What can he do? Can he tell it? No. That telnet's now being blocked by the firewall that we've set up using the zones. Because we set up a zone pair inside to outside allow, but there's no zone pair from outside to inside. It's being blocked because that's, it's firewalling. That's what a firewall is doing. Now, the last thing I want to check and verify is what our DMZ PC can do. So before, he used to be able to ping everything. He was happy, happy. What can he ping now? He can't ping. Can't ping anything. So he can't ping anything at all, but let's see if he can tell that. Because we might see if we've allowed that. Because he's technically the DMZ, so he should be able to get out, right? Oh no. Looks like Telnet isn't working. That's right, what protocols did we allow? HTTP, HTTPS, and DNS. So let's actually try HTTP. So fire up our web browser here. It looks like we can. And there it is. Now we've got access to the cloud. So we've restricted what our DMZ people can do based on their protocols. Whereas our internal PC, he can do anything. He can telnet and he can also web. Let's just make sure that still works. So there you go. So the inside can go out and do whatever they want. And all the traffic is allowed to come back through the firewalling engine. But the people on the outside, there's no zone pair to allow traffic to move in that direction. So therefore, when the conversation is initiated from the outside in the cloud, to come through our firewall, it's blocked. Because there's no relationship, there's no rule set that says traffic is allowed to originate from the outside and come in. Whereas we've set up a zone pair to allow traffic to move from the inside to the outside for TCP, UDP, and ICMP. So that's all, everything we need. And we've set up another rule to allow HTTP, HTTPS and DNS from the DMZ to get outside as well. So we can get out from the DMZ as long as we're web or DNS. From the inside, we can do whatever we want. And from the outside, we cannot get in if we're starting the conversation. Right? This is the beauty of firewalls. Everything that originates on the inside can go out to the cloud and come all the way back. So now we've configured our router to become a zone-based policy firewall. And we're using zone pairs to dictate the safe direction of traffic on whatever protocols that we've determined. All right, thanks very much for your time and hope to see you in the next one. Please remember to subscribe 
tick the notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like and leave me a comment with what you'd like me to make for my next video. Thanks very much and I'll see you on the next one.